session i'm going to show you how to play mario by franco macchiari luambo okay so let's go straight to the lesson okay so mario has been played in the key of d this is the key of d see where the two dots are around that fret where the there is two dots up and down so that is where the key of d is and then this is the the d sharp but an octave lower this is the d sharp but an octave lower with a lower sound with a lower sound d sharp with an octave higher is found here it is still the same thing it is still the same key so but it's d sharp of the um, of the key of d is found here but now an octave high with an higher sound with an higher pitch okay so mario mario has been played here this is where the rhythm, the rhythm part has been played on that so it's easy playing mario rhythmic part is very easy okay so let me assume that you know how to play this key like this you know how to hold the key like that so mario has been played like this you slide it dog the d string is the one that you will slide from this note to this note okay from, from that note to that note okay now let's begin you get you get that so you slide that you're holding the d sharp octave lower the d sharp okay now you remove the pinky finger you're left with three fingers holding the key of d okay flat now you slide you see where your third your third finger is on is holding that note that note you will slide it to this note you slide you will, you will slide okay you will slide you see your third finger you will slide it from this note to this note okay so this is the progression for that song i think that way you will understand you will, you will understand it uh, better so this is the progression so that you can understand what i'm doing so when i when i tell you slide from this note to this note you will come to this progression okay you get my point now so then you play string you play uh, the b string and the g string listen to the sound or listen to the notes okay then the same repeats it, the same repeats itself up to the next fret about sliding but there is one thing we are missing so that the rhythm becomes complete the rhythmic part of this song becomes complete okay there is only one thing we are missing we are missing a, a hammer on 
and a pull off technique okay the hammer on is is always done on the last progression of the the rhythm part okay so let's start then the hammer on comes with the pinky finger or the little finger or the fourth finger whereby you will play the b string and you will play the g string like this it will you will be forced to remove these ones okay that is if you are not used to let's say if you are a beginner okay if you are a beginner you will be you will be forced to just play it the way it is like this because of the level that you are okay yeah that you are at but if you are used to removing your fingers you can remove and then you can bring them back again where they they were without missing a note it, it, it is still okay okay now when you remove these two fingers you will play this one you will play this one and you will play this one this note you will play the this string you will play the this string note and the this string note but with two techniques hammer on and pull off okay you you first pluck first let me give you our let me give you the how can i say this let me give you the sound of the notes how they will sound So that is how the notes should sound. That is how it sounds in the rhythmic part. So you plug, you hammer on, and then when the note is still ringing, you pull it off when it's still ringing. Okay. Okay. Let's still focus on the B string. You plug and you plug. And then when the note is still ringing that be that, that be string note when it's still ringing you pull it off like this you see it's still ringing then you remove it then you plug the g string so like this then again you plug the g string finish plucking with the B string
guys that is it for the for the rhythmic part it's just very easy like that it's not hard it's very easy okay so the next part i'm going to show you is the one that you've just had the solo part in the next video guys okay solo part of Mario okay so let's begin our lesson as you've just heard that is how the solo part of Mario goes this is a tricky one but I will still I'm still going to show you but it's a it's a it's a bit tricky at first it will be tricky but as as you practice with it uh, it will become more easy so, make sure on your guitar you are in the D sharp. Do you know how to play a D sharp? That's a D sharp. So, the progression. carefully so so let's start the first step of this song is Now 
this one comes when you are playing the progression. Whereby, when you're playing the progression, watch, when you're playing the progression, you go this way, right? Then, that step comes in when, it comes in when you remove your third finger, and then you are left with the second finger. Oh, I mean, you are left with the first finger and the second finger. You are playing the progression. Then you go back, then you go back, watch these two fingers, watch these ones, when you remove this one, you are left with these two, now do you get it? So that's, that's where this one comes in. and the second step step now the third step after you've known the first step and the second step the third step will be very easy the third step starts from there
progression. the first step, the second step, and the third step. Let's combine them all together.
so that's it for that part okay so uh okay so so i will show you the rhythm part in the next video guys okay